Hey, this is Brent with Likens Motorsports. This is our 511 all aluminum FE motor. And uh, we're just gonna be touching up some, some details and uh, getting some things plumbed up today. Um, port matched our intake adapter. Everything looks really nice there. Uh, drilled and tapped this for a uh, vacuum gauge so we know how much our vacuum, our dry sump pump, how much vacuum it's pulling. Um, had to do a lot of modifications to, oh, these ABA parts. Uh, this block mount right here, the pump mounts to it uh, with these four bolts. The bolts were over, or the bolt holes in this block were over um, a full diameter on, on one direction. I don't know what happened there, but um, it wasn't right, so actually had to put some, this is aluminum, so we had to put some aluminum studs, lock tight those in, and since the holes uh, were so close to each other, you know, we didn't want, want it uh, breaking out or anything, so we plugged the holes, drilled and tapped. So, um, everything is the way it should be. Um, when you go to, this is one of the beauties of dry sump, so you can pull the belt off with your hand and it should be um, about this difficult right here to put on. And what that allows is uh, you can prime the pump very easily. You slide the belt off, take a speed hammer and just prime that pump. Um, so the belt tension usually, if you can turn it 90 degrees, it should be uh, good on tension. And you'll see these actually during the dyno, they'll kind of oscillate a little bit. Um, so today we're just going to be making up a, a ton of fittings, uh, or hoses, I mean. And it costs a million dollars to to plumb one of these with nice fittings and lines. So I've got all this hose, dash 12, dash 10. This isn't even the half of it because I've actually unbagged a lot of fittings and put them on. So I've already got the dry sump pan fittings screwed on, got our pump fittings put on. And uh, what I wanna do is just, I'm gonna start connecting the dots. So um, if you notice, everything's labeled, uh, scavenge in, scavenge in, scavenge in. So these three uh, scavenge, ports go to the oil pan, scavenge, scavenge, scavenge. Pump collects it all, pushes it out through uh, this dash 12 fitting that goes to the top of your oil sump tank and uh, or your oil tank. And then um, your pump will be pulling it from the bottom of the tank. See pressure in, so through this fitting then we come out, this is your pressure out. We come out of this and go straight into the side of our remote oil filter adapter. It goes through the filter, it comes out of the oil filter adapter and into this line right here. And you can see this fitting going into this block, which then shoots it into the block and through everything. So now we just got the tedious job of um, making up all of our hoses. And um, this, this is really different almost every time I do it. So I never really, um, you know, mounting parts are, are different. And I had to do one dry sump engine where we mounted uh, the tank way over here and the lines had to cross from one side to the other. So. It's just, a, it's just a hassle sometimes. But I'm gonna try to give you some pointers on making up your hoses. Um, first uh, pointer would be to just terminate your ends real quick. And then you can kind of measure how far you need to go from one point to the other point. Um, I usually go one, one end at a time, screw it in, uh, mark my hose, and then go on to the next one. So what really helps in, in this is uh, an aluminum 
vise. So we got that aluminum rod vise. Um, I've got aluminum AN wrenches that uh, will not scratch or mar uh, these fittings because they're all aluminum. And um, you need electrical tape so that you can uh, tape it up real good and make some good cuts. I just use a hacksaw. I know some guys use an abrasive chop saw or something like that, but uh, hacksaw is pretty quick and easy. But uh, we'll, we'll start. We'll start on uh, number one fitting. If you've never messed with AN fittings before, they separate. So this is your your part that uh, has your uh, the end that connects to your fitting, and then this is your hose end part. I'm trying to do this one handed. It never works out when I try to do things one handed. Um, let me see what I can do here. Ha ha. So this hose end. I feel really incapable right now. I'm doing it just for the principle of showing myself I can do it. Come on, baby. And that must go in there about a mile and a half. So this part slides down over, over your hose. And then what I usually do is I, I tap that on with a dead blow hammer, pop, 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 until it bottoms out. And uh, you can look down in there and see where it'll bottom out at. It's right under the threads. Then I'll lube up the, uh, this part of the fitting and get it started and then just use my aluminum a N wrench and and screw this in to make my connection. So you can see that's right there at the bottom of the of the uh of the the threaded part of that so i can clamp this in my aluminum vise and i can lube this up and just push and then get the thread started and then just tighten it up and that'll make your connection All right, so we got our hose connected to our pan, and we just need to take a, a look at um, how we want everything routed. And then what I'll do is I'll just mark it with a Sharpie. Uh, just keep in mind that, you know, here's your hose end. So the end of your braided line should go about right here. So you can mark that wherever way that you want this to fall. I just want a nice sloping uh, radius right here where I'm gonna try to follow them all in the same line. So I marked my hose and then I just put three or four wraps of electrical tape on here. And um, I'll just put this in a smooth face vise, cut it with a hacksaw and uh, put the other fitting on. Okay, so here's one completed hose. I'll spray this out with carb cleaner or brake cleaner, parts cleaner, and make sure it's clean inside, and then uh, hook it up to the pump and to the pan. All right, so we got our, our back two lines, and everything's loose here, uh, just because you can't get a wrench on uh, these to tighten them up. So while I'm making my hoses up, um, when I get to this point, I just temporarily um, uh, screw them on uh, when it comes to go time, we'll start from the back and move forward so we can get our full wrench on these things. Now we've got our three uh, hoses made up from our scavenge points on our oil pan. We're going to switch to another um, section of the pump. So let me just take a step back and uh, 
say that this has kind of been a progression of things that had to been changed as we went on. So, a uh, customer wanted the Crossflow EFI intake, uh, which necessitated the use of um, the FE Power timing cover um, because there's some cam sensors and things that'll have to be installed. <laughs> what that affected was we could not use the passenger side dry sump mount so we had to switch everything to the driver side uh, dry sump pump mount so what that did was put the inlet stupid close to the the drive belt and that's not going to fly so to move forward can't use the edelbrock pump we're going to have to use uh, a universal electric pump coupled with the epi power uh, adapters so that will allow me to move the inlet um, up and 45 it or i can move it to the passenger side and get out of uh, well that kind of poses a problem with the timing pointer so what we'll probably do is we'll just have a short inlet or a 45 inlet and get that uh, lower radiator hose out of the way of the drive belt. Um, this has kind of been a cascade of stuff. So the universal pumps that we have to use with the FE power brackets that will allow us to run an alternator and also allow us to run a remote oil filter mount uh, were not in stock. So I had to call on uh, a customer of mine who I sent a universal pump to a few months ago and it was new in the box. He hadn't used it. So I said, Dennis, will you do me a favor and send me that pump so I can use it and I'll send you a new one when they're in stock. He said, sure. Then I called Jay and said, Jay, I'm going to need some water pump adapters. He said, no problem. I said, I need one with the driver's side mount so I can mount my oil filter uh, mount to that. He said, no problem, but I'm out of them. So he had the water pump adap adapters. He's making me the bracket that goes on the driver's side so I can mount this. <sighs> this has been a, a little bit of a fiasco. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm just going to the kind of ballpark where the uh, filter adapter is going to be. I'm using a Shelby filter adapter, so both uh, fittings are going to be on the driver's side. And I'll just run my hose from here up to about right here, and then run my other hose um, down to uh, where it pumps out right here. So. We're gonna switch to making up those hoses. And what, I, what I'll do is I'll pop off this uh, cap, put my fitting on there, and then I've got um, a plethora of uh, fittings. It should be, a, a, let's see, it should be a dash 10 to a half inch MPT. So we will make up these hoses next. Okay, moving right along, um, I got to this point. I got both of these hoses that will go to our oil filter adapter. Uh, some idiot forgot to order straight dash 10 hose ends. He shall remain nameless, but his initials are Brent Likens. But uh, so got those ordered and um, we'll put those on when they come in. Uh, so we'll turn our attention to our tank and. Um, Nice looking tank, uh, got all kinds of, of fittings for uh, different applications. Uh, one, they're all labeled. Uh, this is to the breather. Um, that is a vent. Uh, here is where your scavenge, all your scavenge lines go that dumps it into the top. And then here's where your pump will pull it from the bottom. And then here's a drain plug. So Jay Brown is going to dyno this engine. 
and uh, he said just make up a couple hoses where I can hang uh, the, the tank off to the side. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, pop off a couple of two foot um, dash 12 hoses and uh, hook those up so I can also prime it here. And I'll just set it on a stool or something and then unhook the hoses and send them to Jay. Okay, so I got uh, both dash 12 lines also made up to go to the tank. Um, one for the pressure side, one for the scavenge side. Uh, forgot to order some straight dash 12 hose in, so I'm batting 0 for 2. Had to get those ordered. So once I get those four fittings in, I'll be able to finish this thing up. Um, we're just waiting on a few other things from Jay. And um, order push rods and that's it. So we're gonna call it uh, call it a day on this one today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I've got a mess to clean up, so I'm gonna get to it. But I appreciate you uh, watching the video and all your comments and uh, participation. Hope you guys are having a good week, uh, and I'll talk to you soon.